coming to the stage next, welcome Zachary Bennett. Ooh, so you guys are at this comedy show. And I know uh, what all you motherfuckers are thinking right now. Who's this kid? Why is he so small? How tall is he? Why is he so short? I don't know, okay? But I've been alive for 20 years and I can measure up where it fucking counts so y'all can shove it, all right? Uh, I do get a lot of questions about my height. Uh, one of my favorites of the bunch is, uh, are your parents short? Uh, uh, yes, they are, yeah. You figured it out, good job. Like, are your parents blood relatives or something? Is that, uh, okay. So both of our imperfections make sense then. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I get a lot. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one over here. <laughs> I get a lot of questions, like, or suggestions and stuff as well. Stuff to do, like, play a kid in a movie or TV show, which I actually did last week. But if any of you are gonna say I should be a jockey, just shut the fuck up right now, okay? I don't like horses. I haven't ridden a horse since I was two years old, and that's because they're fucking terrifying. Have you ever seen a horse's penis? It's a foot and a half long. I don't want to get near it. Why are my feet? Dangling there, I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. Uh, but to be honest, sometimes my height does get in the way of stuff. Like, uh, what if I'm trying to say, like, pursue a woman? Um, mostly just because, like, when I do try and pursue a woman, she'll just kind of, like, turn around and stick her palm on my forehead, and I'm just, like, stuck there. Ugh. Yeah, doesn't usually go very well. Um, yeah, Halloween is coming up, guys. It's exciting, it's October now. Um, last year, uh, I went out for Halloween dressed as Avatar, and I was repeatedly mistaken for a Smurf, somehow. <laughs> I wasn't even wearing a fucking turban. I don't know how they mixed it up. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I don't really like dressing up for Halloween anymore. Um, but my friends try and get me into it, they'll suggest things to me, like, oh, just go as a ghost or something, it's easy, just throw a sheet on. Right. Well, first of all, look at me. I don't. Really, I'm this white ass face and my like blue haunty eyes. I don't really need the sheet to begin with. And even if I were to wear it, it's still not a good idea because I don't want to show up to the party just wearing a white sheet and run the risk of being mistaken for one of those wonderful people on both sides with the burning crosses. Um, I went to go see the It movie, because it's Halloween. I went to go see that with a couple of my friends. Um, yeah, halfway through the movie, one of my friends just stood up without saying a word, walked out of the theater, just left. I was like, Jordan, where are you going? He can only kill us when we're separated. We have to stick together. <laughs> he didn't come back. So understandably, I was a little bit scared, driving myself home, it was dark, I was thinking about the movie. Uh, but then I remembered, the clown, the it, uh, it feeds on fear. That's like what gives it its power is other people's fear. And my fear is like rejection. So I figured presumably he'll just leave me alone. Cause like, that's pretty scary enough as it is. Uh, speaking of scary, I had unprotected sex for the first time pretty recently. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was all going like fine pretty well for a while until we were like, well, and by we, I mean me. I was approaching the finish line uh, and she was on top. So this put us in like a little bit of a, like a sticky situation, I guess. Um, yeah, so when I said, I'm about to come, I thought that would roughly translate to like, get the fuck off me. Uh, but it didn't. And when it didn't, I kind of turned our intimate moment into like a wrestling match. <laughs> where I just like pushed her off me and unfortunately uh, off the bed as well. So I guess, like, is that how you're supposed to finish when you're not wearing a condom? I don't know. Um, and like the, the about a little, uh, like probably about a week after that, I actually got quite sick and it made sense why, like, you know, the weather was changing, it was rainy, I was going back to school, shaking off people's hands. But as soon as I felt the first signs of a cold come in, I was immediately like, it's AIDS. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> it wasn't. Thank you for your concern, though. <laughs> so of course I had to. I had to go to the to the doctor, get an STI test. I thought it'd be really awkward, um, but she made it pretty painless. 
except for the part where uh, she's taking notes and my doctor goes, so uh, have you had any discharge? And I'm like, from the area, right? She goes, yeah, and I said, well, like nothing except for the usual ones. Like there are a couple, there are some that are supposed to come out of there normally. Okay. <laughs> Those are all working fine, by the way. <laughs> um, I met this girl at a, a party recently. I was talking to her. I've heard, you know, girls like it when you, when you uh, compliment them on something specific, so it makes them feel like you're paying attention. Um, <laughs> I'm a gentleman. Um, and uh, so I was talking to this girl. I said, oh, you have such beautiful eyes. You have such a nice smile. I think we could really, you know, work something together. If only it weren't so fucking short. <laughs> Thank you, guys. It's my time. Zachary Bennett, ooh, rock and roll.